Have you ever wondered what it's like to live on a boat? To sell everything you own, untie from the dock and head for the horizon? That's exactly what we did. So climb aboard and come with us as we go seeking adventure. So we are uh, at uh, Leaf Key and Allen Key and there are a bunch of iguanas here. So we've been told that they come out if you bring some food. So I brought like a vegetable medley, I guess you can call it. So don't know if they're gonna like it, but we'll see and we hope we find some. I don't see any, Darren. No, I don't either. They're here somewhere, though. We saw them from the boat with binoculars earlier. How do you call an iguana? Oh. What are we supposed to do? Like a cat, you say, here, kitty, kitty. What do you do with an iguana? I don't know how you call an iguana. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, there you go. Just to keep doing that. Those are iguana tracks and an iguana tail track. Well, that's really cool. We're getting close. Monica, reach down and touch it and tell me how old it is. Yeah, I think they've been here about 30 minutes ago, I would say. I think this uh, tree right here, I think these fruits are called a dilly tree, a dilly fruit. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm quite sure that's what that is. And they're supposed to taste like uh, kiwis, I believe, but I don't know enough about them to pick one and uh, eat them. So I'd need to do a little bit of research, but I've seen several of these trees growing here wild. So that's kind of cool. Wonder if the iguanas eat them. And I found something else really cool. Look at these things. I was thinking, oh, do they have blueberries here? But it turns out they're little snails. I guess they're not growing on the vine, but it looks like they're growing on the vine. So maybe that's how snails are made. Maybe they grow on vines. I'm just going to try to throw some food over in the area that I'm pretty sure they are because I think they're watching us and we'll see if they come out. somewhat amazing that we haven't seen any of these iguanas because from our boat all day long people have come ashore and there's multiple iguanas to come out to feed when people bring food so we might be the very first ones that that has ever happened to maybe or they just don't like my vegetables I don't know Never know 
know how things are going to be until you're in that moment and you know that you can get caught off guard. There's so many things that can go wrong. So uh, my nerves uh, are definitely not made of steel, to put it that way. I've learned that uh, since we started boating. We're now only going to go an hour and a half south and um, hoping for some calmer anchorage. The place that we were at has been rocking and rolling for 48 hours and it is raining right now. <laughs> but in an hour and a half we should be at a calm place and we're looking forward to just staying put because we need to basically catch up on some trees. Yeah, we have not slept very good the last two nights. This has been very bouncy. But the anchorage was beautiful, just not very calm. And that takes a little bit of the beauty away from it. Finally, we're at a calm anchorage. We needed this after a couple of days um, in our last anchorage and we were bouncing around. This is very peaceful. <laughs> I mean, it's, the, it's night and day. The enjoyment level, when it's, when it's like this, it's 10. When it's like it was a couple nights ago, that's, that's like a one or a two. You're barely hanging on. It's amazing. I mean, it, we we're learning, and we know this, but it's still, you have to do it again and again and again to really get it down. So important to know the exact wind direction, how strong is the wind, fetch is a huge one, and all those factors is all about how comfortable will it be. Well, and then finding protection from those elements. Yeah, right, right. I mean, so, this is, it's the same wind that we had the last couple of days. It's yeah. just on the other side of that island. Now we're in the lee of this island and it's just very calm. Start falling. My shorts are wet. Oh well. Oh well. It gets deep quickly. Well, that'll help us get off pretty easy. That wasn't very graceful there. No, I know. trying to find a path to get up to the road on Norman's Key. So we are mindful that people might live here and we don't want to trespass. So we're wondering if this is somebody's yard or if we are allowed to walk here. What'd you find out? Can we do it? Yes. Are we trespassing? You know, this seems like it's a neighborhood that's kind of being built. There's a lot of construction back here and then the road is just dirt. There's no uh, pavement. Now, eventually there'll probably be pavement, but I think I think we just head out that way. There's four Bahamians uh, sitting under a tree over there eating lunch, I guess. They're probably construction workers for this house being built here. But 
I don't think they're gonna stop us. I think they'll be fine. So you wanna go for it? I mean, it's the only way you wanna ride your bikes here. This is the way to go. Okay. Well, we reached the road. Not much of a road. I guess we go that way. What do you think, Dan? I think I'm already lost. We're five minutes in and I don't know where I am. I'm waiting for the paved road. <laughs> I don't think there's a paved road. I don't think there's a paved road. <laughs> See some street signs there. Let's see what they say. See my uh, my uh, chart from the boat works here too. Yeah, that's nice. Although it thinks we're on the boat right. on land, it's two and a half miles to that uh, airstrip, and don't know if it's really it's muddy and. Yeah, let's go back to the boat. Yeah, I think we should go back Clean to the, the boat. Clean the bikes off. See Captain Kaya and have a beer. There you go. So uh, we went seeking adventure. Yeah, we did. What do you think that adventure, <laughs> was it much of an adventure? No, but it was fun to get off the boat, <laughs> drive around a little bit and see the island. It was just a dirt road basically. Yeah. And some... the, the adventure I find, just like with driving the boat, is that you just don't know what's around the corner. You don't know where you are. You're in a strange place with different people. You just don't know. Are we doing something we're not supposed to? You know, I mean, that, that never stopped you before, Monica. <laughs> so now we've done it, now we know what's here and it's kinda cool, but it wasn't it wasn't as wasn't all that. It wasn't all that. But now it, the prettiest views are right here on this beach from Sea Star. That's for sure. <laughs> 